Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Fabulous Veggies, coming in with another Test Tuesday. And this week, I'm excited. I got a little package delivered. Shout out to Thrilling Foods. Thank you so much for sending this my way to do a little review. I'm gonna review their uh, plant-based bacon. Yes, yes, I'm excited. I love getting packages like the cute ones, the surprise, like that's a good pleasant surprise. So thank y'all so much for like thinking of me. And if this is your first time tuning in, this is what we do, okay? We take a vegan plant-based product, we taste test it, we give a star rating and we wrap up the video at the end because why spend that money, honey? Why spend that money, honey? If you don't have to, I'll do it for you. Also, make sure to follow me on my socials for all my day-to-day -day updates, honey. I mean, I like to do meatless Monday recipes. One of these days, let's go transfer over, okay? Doing a setup is it's a little different. We need a whole team, it's just me. But be patient, we gonna get to it. And let's get to the review because that's what we're here for. So let's get to this product review, shall we? And boom. So this is what the packaging looks like. It gets shipped to you guys and they have like a, a ice pack that goes with it to kind of keep it cool. Um, but yeah. This is what the packaging looks like. Got a little all made of plants. Isn't that cute? And they give you the strips and boom. It looks like real bacon. And when I tell y'all it smell, I wish I could smell it. It's the smokiness that you get, almost like that mes mesquite something smoke. Baby, it's here, okay? They, they It gives smoky. That's what's really like, wow, mind boggling about it. But it says right here, it's plant-based, okay? 100% plant-based and it got a touch of maple. Maybe that's what I'm getting to. They, they hint of maple, um, non-GMO, gluten, no gluten. And it's keto-friendly for the keto-friendly, you know, crowd, honey, because I know that exists as well. And so as far as like making it, pan fry it that's what they did on the website so that's what i'm gonna do okay they give you the instructions sometimes you gotta stick to what they do okay so we're gonna pan fry it 90 calories and the ingredients which is really uh cool is it's made out of soy milk which i'm like oh okay like i wouldn't give that as the like initial ingredient but it's soy milk and then it has a uh, palm oil vegetable uh color a little maple syrup some salt and then that black pepper so this is soy base honey it's given soy for like specifics of what the ingredients are but i mean wow it's given thick cut bacon i'm so excited let's get to trying it okay you guys we're doing the front facing like look at that it looks like bacon look let me hold it up don't that look like bacon and i got like a little clip here just to show you guys how it was in the frying pan and how it like did what it did. I mean, honestly, I don't even know, I don't even time how long it took to cook, but how you usually fry bacon, just do it that long. When it get crispy, flip it over. But yeah, look at how it looks. Like it's pretty crispy and it looks like bacon. Look at that peppery there. So the bigger thing is what does it taste like? Let's see. Okay, let's get into this. <laughs> Y'all, this really tastes like bacon. Like it really tastes like bacon and I'm boggled because it's like, you don't like that. <laughs> Try to wrap my head around it. It really tastes like bacon. Like that fatty part that you kind of fry up from what I remember with bacon, I grown it. It's been over 10 years since I had legit bacon, but bacon was my favorite back in the day and I used to love it. And that's what, I mean, let's go down the list. It's, it gives that nice smokiness that you like from bacon. They clearly, they did that good. Um, you can honestly get it crispy. I think if I would have let it fry a little bit longer, it would be even more crispier, but you probably heard how like crunchy it was. Love that they added the, the peppercorn there. It just adds that nice touch to it. It's thick. Now I will say my only downfall with it is you really have to be careful like pulling it apart. Cause honey, I've definitely like broke a few pieces. These are the cute ones that I have for y'all. But just really be delicate with like separating them because it could like, you know, fall apart. So just be, that's a little warning there. But oh my goodness, the flavors, oh my goodness. It really tastes like bacon. Um, very, very much so. So on a scale of, uh, cause I'm talking too much, on a scale of one to five, I would give it four stars. I can't believe I'm saying that about a vegan bacon, but this is 
where we at. So uh, I don't know. Have you guys heard of this brand? Give them a try. Uh, comment below if you've heard about this brand. And we're going to wrap up the video. Because wow. And thank y'all. Thank y'all for Thrilling Foods for sending this over. Because wow. <laughs> all right you guys so that is the end of the video thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl ashley of frivolous veggies where we're always cooking up fresh greens on the daily here are all of my socials yes all my socials to stay up to date with me throughout the week of course i love talking to y'all and yeah i'll see you guys next week thanks for watching bye